Okay, so what will you do this week? So unfortunately this week I will not be in class, but I do have someone to substitute for me. So what we're gonna do this week is we're gonna look mainly at minerals, but we need some information uh, before that. So we're gonna look at some atoms, elements, and molecules. And so Dr. Bob Lichty, he's going to be your substitute for Monday and Wednesday lecture. And he has some PowerPoints here. So instead of giving you the one that I'll go through just so everything matches up, there's a PowerPoint here. So it's set up kind of like mine is, you know, the normal uh, module we have online. So there's one for the elements and molecules. There's one for the minerals that you can look at. And he also has some videos associated with those. So of course he's gonna go through these in class. And so the information should be the same. But if you need to review it or something before taking the minerals quiz, that you can do that. So you have all that content available to you. And then of course, remember that we have some other assignments to do during the week. One is that you're gonna look at an article. And so this is in general just talking about minerals, but it's focusing on the mineral quartz, which we'll come to find out is super abundant because there's lots of silica and lots of oxygen available in the Earth's crust. And that is the composition of the mineral quartz, quartz silica and oxygen bonded together. So you can take a look at that article and take the quiz on that. And then we're going to also watch another Earth Revealed video. So hopefully you're used to these videos. And once again, it's going to be an overview of minerals in particular. And so, you know, it'll complement the content that you're getting in class and on the PowerPoints here. And of course, it, it'll just be kind of a, an overview. So it, it, it they'll definitely align. But then you can go ahead and take that in the quiz. And then finally, I'm just going to have you look at some mineral groups. And so Dr. Bob's going to talk about mineral groups when he gets to the mineral portion. And so what I'm going to have you do for your homework is basically fill out this little chart here. And these are the mineral groups. So we're breaking down minerals based on their compositions. And so what I want you to do is find minerals that fit into these mineral groups. What's their chemical composition? And then some properties about that particular mineral. So of course you can choose any mineral, <laughs> mineral that fits into the silicates group, any mineral that fits into the oxide groups, and so on. So how do you do that? Well, you can also um, look at the additional resources page. So I put together some, you know, on the additional resources page, there's usually a link to the textbook for some more information if you so choose. But there's also these two links that I added. And this one in particular, this minerals.net, should be useful because it actually can break down minerals into groups. So you can search for silicates and then you'll see a list of silicates. And then you can choose one and then just kind of gather that information and add it to that chart and you should be good. You can also look at this geology.com. It has a little better imagery, but this one here probably has the best kind of uh, information that you would need to complete the homework. So that's what you're going to do this week. And remember, of course, we do have lab and Bob's going to be there for the lab also. It's going to be uh, the second topographic map lab. So we're going to look at a map similar to what we saw before, where we have the information and locations, which you're going to have a quiz over, remember. And then uh, we're going to look at the contour line. So we're going to use that topographic map to figure out elevations. And so you'll go through that on Monday in lab, and then of course the two lectures Monday and Wednesday for the atoms, elements, and then the minerals. All right, so hopefully everything will go well. Of course, if you have questions about anything you're working on online, you certainly can email me and I will get that and respond to you. And uh, I'm sure Dr. Bob can help you with some information during class if you have questions. And hopefully I will see you next week.